I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It might be one of the most beautiful places we've ever come across. Well, we did it. We finally made it to Los Tyrannus. This is the most requested place for us to visit in the Dominican Republic. And one of the reasons this place is so popular is that there are tons of really, really amazing beaches. So we figured our first full video here, we would focus on the beaches, maybe visit a few, see what they're like. So we're starting things out at the beach just by our hotel. It's just outside town, about a 10 minute walk. And I believe the beach is called Playa Las Ballenas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it actually stands for the whales because this area of Semana is very well known for having humpback whales here in the wintertime. What an absolute magical place. There are swings along the beach here and there's just so many coconut trees, coconuts on the ground. And of course, this gorgeous water in the backdrop. The, the tide's high right now, so I think the ocean's a little more rough than it usually is, but it doesn't even matter. It's still so beautiful. So I'm actually very curious if waves like this on this beach are typical because I looked at lots of videos, I or, you know, saw lots of photos before we came, and everything I saw, it looked very calm, very lagoon-like. The last two days have been super wavy. Yesterday we just took off and like relaxed and explored a little bit, but filming today, and I was hoping that it would be a little bit calmer because that seems to be what the norm is. But maybe someone that's been here before can comment and let us know. Is it normally wavy or is it normally super, super calm? So right now we're just walking in the direction away from town. So on the walk here, you're going to find little restaurants, little kind of cafes along the beach. Sometimes there's busy spots, sometimes there's not. Also, there's some seaweed around, huh? Yeah, I think it, I wonder if it's maybe because it is so wavy and pushing in the seaweed yeah. from the ocean. But yeah, there's definitely some seaweed around. So you guys let us know. Maybe this isn't normal, but yesterday it was so wavy. The waves were very, very high. Lots of seaweed came in. So I don't know if it's because of that, but it doesn't matter. This place is spectacular. So before we get any further, we should probably let you guys know how long we are here in Los Tyrannus. We're only here for a few days, and I know you're going to leave us recommendations on what to do in the whole Samana area. You're going to say things like whale watching, El Limal, Sanama, the town itself. We are going to be coming back here in a few months, or maybe just one month. We're still trying to figure that out. This is kind of like a scouting mission just to kind of get the lay of the land. And when we come back here, we might be coming back with some friends. So the moral of that story is don't don't be disappointed when you only see a couple of videos from this area. We'll definitely be back. We basically are going to be in the Dominican Republic for an, who knows how long. We bought a one-way ticket a few months ago. We've been living in Cabarete for the last couple of months. We have no intentions of leaving anytime soon. We're going to head back to Cabarete in a couple of days, but in a month we'll come back. Maybe in two months we'll come back again. We'll always spend a significant amount of time in this region, just not at this time. Well, we just drove about 20 minutes through town in the other direction and we stumbled into what I would call is absolute pure paradise. This is the definition of paradise. This place, I'm trying not to like get emotional here. This place is absolutely <laughs> stunning. Oh my. Oh my goodness. This is like edges, edge of the earth. Like, <laughs> oh, I don't even have any words. I have no words. This is... I just keep walking around and be like, this is bananas. And we're on our way to a beach. And this is the walk, you guys. This yeah. is the walk to the beach. I don't think we've ever been on a walk quite like this. We've been on some really <laughs> epic beach walks, but oh man, this is just amazing. Uh, there's sort of a, a road over there. We weren't quite sure if we could drive it. So we decided to walk. Very glad we did. But over here, I think we're going to have to like walk through some mangroves. <laughs> and oh, then man. look, I'm going to turn just to show them where we just walked. Look, nothing but pure white sand beaches with almost no one on it. There's almost no one here. I know we've seen like maybe five people. Wow. Look at the mangroves. Look at this. I don't think we've ever stood right next to mangroves. Usually they're in like deep water. This is only up to our knees, barely up to our knees in the color of this. It's pure turquoise. It's all sand. This is all sand and it's all bananas.
So there's a house right here on the beach and uh, that's where you want to stay if you're coming to this place. I don't know what it's if it's a house or a villa or a hotel. I if it's for sale. Ooh, maybe we can all go splits on it, you Let's guys. Let's do it. I can hear an ATV coming behind me. A lot of people get around that way. It could push you over a little bit. Or is that a motorbike? Ah, motorbike. Motorbike. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so right now we are on our way to another beach, even though everything is a beach. Do you remember what the beach name is called? Uh, in my head, I want to say Anquan, but I could be totally off there. I'll look it up when we actually get down there. So it's about a 20 minute walk from where we uh, parked. Look at these houses. Oh, I'm so I'm so jealous. I can't even imagine what it's like to like own or live right here and have well you haven't seen it yet, this beach coming up. Well, we're pretty much here. It's time to kick these off because uh Yeah, take a look at that. Untouched paradise. This is such a beautiful beach. We just found a little spot to call home. You can see Anna, she's uh, setting up back there, but look at this. I mean, just look at how many people are here. Yeah, like, no one. This is just our own little we have our section. Own, like, cove right here. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I don't know if the water's gonna get us here, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so in case you guys are trying to recreate what we just did, we parked down at Playa Carolina Portillo and parked at the very edge of that beach. It was a good parking area, lots of space. We walked the rest of the way. There is a road, I think if you had like a 4x4 or an ATV or a motorbike, you'd be fine, but it's a nice walk as well, so I, it's totally worth doing. And then the actual beach on the map, on Google Maps anyway, is called Playa El Anclon, A-N-C-L-O-N. Trevor and I were just talking off camera about how we literally cannot believe that this place exists. And I think for those of you that have followed us for a while and you at the beginning maybe had these preconceived notions of what you thought the Dominican Republic is like, we've probably hopefully shifted your, your <laughs> view already, but I had no idea there were beaches like this. Did you guys? It's just, I have no words. Like I really, this is like what, I, I live for this stuff. These are the best, this makes my day. best kind of beaches. It is. So you would think this is only in the Punta Cana area or in the south of Even the Even that island. though, well, when you think of Punta Cana, you think of big beaches full of people. Beautiful beaches, but that are very, very busy. And then this just feels, so authentic and untouched. Oh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. So we're now over at a place called Playa Bonita and uh, there's a lot of people here. This is the most people we've seen in a while. There seems to be restaurants and hotels around. Yeah, I think I thought I had read that it's like a quieter area as opposed to like the main area of Las Carreras, but apparently everybody else had the same idea as we did. I had one restaurant in mind. It was absolutely packed, so yeah. we can hunt for a little bit of food. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to happen, although now that we're walking on this nice path, it's, uh, there's less people, way less people. In fact, it's just us right now. Yeah, they all seem to be concentrated <laughs> in one little area. So we did manage to find a place here. You can see it's pretty unique, right on the beach. They have some lunch. We got some nachos, just because this day is going so well. What else can make a day better? Some nachos. This place is called Casa Grande, I believe. We just were so hungry, we walked in here so quick, and we had to get something to eat. I don't think you can get a better beach food than some nachos. These are relatively simple. You got your nacho chips, there's some melted cheese, I think there's some queso cheese, guacamole, and sour cream. Mm, perfect well, beach snack. It is. You cannot beat that beach snack. Mm, I love guacamole. <laughs> Question is, is it good? Mm, can't go wrong. <laughs> It's so great to be here now in Los Tyrannos. This is the area that was recommended by you guys for us to come and visit. And now that we've been here for a few days and we've been exploring a little bit, we're staying close to town and town's very different than this area where we're at now. Playa Bonita, we were told, is quiet. It's a little quieter here. You can probably hear some kids in the background, but there was quite a few people back where we came in by a bar called Mosquito Bar. 
And where we were earlier in the video, just like a few minutes ago, is like just untouched. There's no one there, you guys. So this is, if this is just a taste of what's to come here on Las Tarandas, like we're just getting started. And as we said, this is kind of like a scouting mission because we might come back again for a longer period of time, but this is amazing. So far, this is exceeding our expectations. This country is blowing our minds. For all of you that have been following along so far, you're probably starting to realize that we're constantly impressed. This place has everything. It does, and I really think that Los Terrenas actually might be the perfect <laughs> beach destination yep. because it's like it, there are so many different beaches and there's something for everyone. So if you want a wavy beach where you can play and have fun, surf. Uh, you can come here <laughs> or surf. If you want uh, water sports, you can have that. Oh, yeah. If you want a beach club, you can have that. Or if you're like us and you want a untouched beach with hardly anybody on it, <laughs> calm water that you can just float in for days, you have that as well. You guys saw that just well, yeah. minutes ago. It really was my perfect <laughs> beach day. So as we're walking down the boardwalk here, I think I'll call it a boardwalk, you can see all these kind of posh hotels. Not only that, you can see some surfers out there in the ocean. This water is a lot more rough than the, well, the beach we were at previously, but there are people swimming as well. But it looks like good beginner surfer waves I don't know much about surfing at all, and by that I mean nothing. <laughs> but it looks like these people are having a lot of fun and the waves aren't too big. Today has been absolutely amazing. Hands down, easily one of our favorite days here in the Dominican Republic. And we've been here now for like three or almost four months. <laughs> and maybe one of my favorite beach days ever. And that uh, yeah. says a lot, because we've gone to a lot of different beaches. Yes, this uh, brought back some memories of like Starfish Beach in Panama. Yeah. And there's been lots of other beaches in the Philippines. But the beach, the second beach we went to, uh, Apon, yeah, was epic. That's epic. Amazing. But those are our favorite kinds of beaches, you guys. We always love kind of lagoon beaches, easy to swim at, not yeah. too wavy. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, this country keeps uh, surprising us yeah. around every corner. I hope you're watching this being surprised as well. And you're like, I had no idea that the Dominican <laughs> Republic has these amazing spots. Yeah, did, it's such a surprise. did you guys know? Let us know in the comments. I'm just curious. We were uh, guilty of this as well. We thought this country was just, you know, resorts mm -hmm. in Punta Cana. Boy, were we wrong. Yeah. We couldn't have been more wrong. So if you got this far in the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Probably means you like it. It really helps us out. And if you're new, Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers, click subscribe, all the regular things, you know the drill. And if you're not new, it's very nice to see all your faces again. If you're thinking, I like beaches, but I really, really want to see the actual town of Las Terrenas, we will be exploring it in the next video. Yeah, there is a little town. We're going to show you guys that in the next one. So that won't be as beachy, but the town's really cool as well. It will be a little bit beachy as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, we just won't be swimming. No. All right, guys, that's it. From Las Terrenas, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.